Oh god, Scott just joined. Oh no, this is the worst timing. Hello you. If it isn't Scott, I hope he's not hanging around this area. That'd be quite scary. Oh my goodness. What is going on you guys, my name is CPK, welcome back to another video on my channel today. I'm back with another episode of Kingdom Craft, your favorite faction series. Where all your favorite YouTubers mess with each other all day long in an attempt to stress each other out to the point that we want to quit our jobs. Welcome back. Today, I know that something interesting has happened because I've seen a video about it. Um, so, let me break this down for you. Right now, I can hear a lot more water than I normally can. That much is for sure. And that is because Scott, the ever kind Scott, has come to my area, my volcano, and uh, he says he's turned it all to obsidian. Now, I, I didn't watch the video because I didn't want to spoil it for myself, but I did see the title, which was I turned his whole volcano to obsidian. So I'm guessing that's that's what he's done. You know, otherwise, a bit of a weird clickbait title. So sadly, the only way for me to get to my actual volcano is to warp to spawn and come back. Because I have no other way of getting outside of my volcano without breaking my obsidian. So we are going to head back to my own volcano and see uh, the damage that is done. Now, let's be honest. I deserve this. I've been messing with Scott a lot recently. And uh, I think it's fair to say that I definitely deserve it at the very least. So yeah, I, th I think to say I deserve it is probably an understatement. So let's find out how bad the damage actually is. Is it repairable? Can we fix my volcano? Is it finally gone? Let's be honest. You can't really believe it took this long for it to get taken down, to be fair. Okay, so episode one of Kingdom Craft was August 31st, okay? We're now in 2020. The fact it's taken, like, what, five months? Maybe a little bit more to for someone to finally really mess with my volcano? Like, something other than just, like, destroying the sides, because that doesn't do anything to me. The fact that it's taken this long is actually a marvel, and to be honest, I'm over the moon that it's taken so long. I'm excited to see the damage that's done, honestly, because you know me, guys. I give it as good as I take it, and if I am going to give out a bunch of abuse, I better expect some of it back. And let me tell you guys, that is a valuable life lesson to have. Oh, it looks destroyed up there. Blooming heck. One thing I've got to tell you is, honestly, if you get used to giving as good as you get, or getting as good as you give, then, man, your life's just so much easier, I promise. I'm gonna channel my inner Joel very quickly and just absolutely ruin this chicken for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's just what you get, isn't it? Oh, we're about to see the damage for the first time. Let me go and see. Yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. What did I expect by claiming absolutely zero of my land? I mean, I should really have expected this to happen, shouldn't I? The good news is actually quite an easy fix, I think. I should be able to get this up and running. What is all this? What's with the wood everywhere? Goodness me. Right, I should be able to get this up and running back to being a somewhat functional volcano relatively quickly. Uh, but let me see if I'm going to be able to first and then I'll come back. Okay, first thing is first, get rid of the water, which is surprisingly uh, aesthetically pleasing, to be fair. Water is gone. The only advantage to me is I do have the Unbreaking Efficiency 5 uh, pickaxe. So, I mean, I do get through Obsidian pretty quickly. It is all going to burn, which is pretty tragic. All in all, proud of Scott. Well played, Scott. I'm not even mad. Well played. Will I retaliate? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I mean, I figure now that this means that Scott has definitely seen uh, my video where I went and stole his Mesa. So I would be inclined to believe... Oh, man. All this too? All the side? Oh, man. He really went all out. And to be fair, it makes it much easier to get, to get around. If you see the silver lining in all this, I've, it's much easier for me to move about now. Um, but yeah, if I was Scott, I would definitely have probably gone and claimed a bunch more of the Mesa now. So that I don't have as much to play with when trying to take it all. So all we gotta do is get the lava flowing again. It's all good. There's nothing to fear. Oh, that's gonna burn me. I mean, that's, yeah, fear that. Fear burning. Always fear burning, guys. That's my second life tip of the day. I can't tell you one occasion where I've ever heard of it being a good idea to burn yourself. Let's get it moving. It's on its way down, look. Here comes the lava. 
Oh boy, he coming. So let's say 5,000 likes on this video, guys, and we somehow get revenge. I, I don't know how yet, but somehow we will. If you, if you want to see revenge, 5,000 likes. That's what I want. And I will do something extremely bad. I don't know what yet, so I'm happy to take on ideas if you have them. Yeah, all right, see, look at this. See, we got the lava flowing again. The lava is flowing. It's looking good on this side, baby. Uh, but yeah, again, obsidian is worth quite a lot of money. So um, really, if anything, I am just getting a bunch of extra stuff that I can sell if I need to. Uh, another thing I'm going to do now, because I think the old base is well and truly done, is slash F warp remove new home. Because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to do slash F warp add top. So now we can go top to get to the top of our volcano. And maybe, just maybe, we should claim a few more blocks of our uh, of our faction. Because otherwise, I can see this ending pretty badly for us, where we end up with nothing. And I've worked quite hard in this series, I think. I think I've really actually kept up with people for once. Usually, the big thing in my series is that I, I don't keep up. I end up really far behind. This one, I actually think I've done all right, you know. Especially since I had a monument to protect, this blooming volcano, my goodness. Like I said, look at this. The lava is now flowing... Almost exactly as it was before. This side is now... Uh, yeah, doing a lot of the same. So it only really took two block breaks to start the lava flowing again. And all I've really got to do now is clean up all this obsidian mess. But of course we're not going to risk doing that while it's night time because my goodness we're going to melt. And the lava buckets have finally run out. Well, thank goodness I'm right next to a place where I can get some more lava. Perfect. And I'm still keeping up this bread diet, guys. Still keeping up the bread diet. And uh, let's take these out because we've got almost a full stack from some of these now. This is my pride and joy right now. I must keep hold of this. I must not let this slip. Because if I slip up and leave this exposed to someone, all my stuff's going to be gone. I know it is. I'm not stupid. Someone will come in and they will take my stuff for sure. And I know that in great confidence because it's exactly what I would do if I saw someone doing what I'm doing. Right, so there's another 64. I mean, we're looking pretty good, honestly. Look at these stacks. Stacks on stacks on stacks. I mean, obviously, this war can end. I mean, as soon as I get 17,000, um, you know, terracotta blocks, I'm willing to stop. I'll call a truce. But I am going to need to get the 17,000 first. You know, that's where the problem lies, probably, because Scott probably doesn't want me to do that. Which is reasonable, because, it, I mean, it is his land, to be fair to him. I mean, getting all, rid of all this is going to be an absolute process. I mean, what does it take? Like, one two, three, three seconds, maybe four per block, which is much better than the 10 per block. It should be, but um, it's not very fast, is it? It means that I'll do 10 blocks every 30 seconds. So I can get rid of 20 of these a minute. I reckon there's a good 200 here. So it'd take me 10 minutes to even make a dent in it. But is that what I'm about to do? Well, we'll find out. Okay, I mean, I started going around the outside. I spent a few minutes doing this. I cannot tell you how long this is going to take me. Uh, I'm going to have to do it off camera because it's going to be, you know, morbidly depressing uh, to sit and watch me do this. Um, I am going to quickly run around and claim some more blocks. So if it is F slash claim auto and just run around, just getting a few more bits just so it's not quite so easy to come back and mess with me. The only reason, I mean, everyone knows where my base is now. It's all good. You know, all the secret base stuff is gone. I want to make sure this bit over here is claimed as well. Thank you. Probably already all in chunks I own already. But oh, no, there we go. See, sometimes it does fall just outside of the chunks. Oh, my goodness. I was expecting four block parkour jumps in the way. Goodness me. All right, turned off the auto buy now. So now if we do F slash map, it's looking a little healthier. We've got a bigger chunk. Oh, wait. Ah, here. Right, there we go. So it's looking a little healthier now. F slash map. A little nicer. Um, means we can be a little bit, you know, safer. People can definitely still attack me. With some ease, actually, I would imagine. Um, but we don't care. We don't care about that. The good news is we were in the chunk quite a lot. So a lot of this stuff is cooking. You know what my old catchphrase is? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? I absolutely 100% made that up. And I've never heard anyone else say it in my life. So if you have, uh, they stole it from me. That's exactly how this works. Right now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be coming back to my own base in this episode, so I'm going to actually block up this whole area. Also, just in that little hall, I ended up with 47 obsidian, which is pretty good, to be fair, to say that I had absolutely nothing to uh, nothing to do other than pick it up, which is pretty good. And then, as always, as always, 
We're gonna do our little uh a little run around, aren't we? And go get our go and get our stuff from the chests. Because well, if there's one thing we earn in this game, it's the stuff from the chests. At least that's how I feel anyway. I feel like I definitely earned these. It's been a long time since I've had the Curse of Binding Sword, so I'd quite like that back. Oh god, Scott just joined. Oh no, this is the worst timing. Hello you. If it isn't Scott, I hope he's not hanging around this area. That'd be quite scary. Sorry, I tell him I didn't like my volcano anyway. He's probably on wondering if I knew it was him. Oh, I knew. I think Scott just asked if he could stream with me later too. Despicable. Despicable behavior. <laughs> I'm trying to bargain with him now. I just need 17,000 terracotta and I can stop. Take him in the back, not the bit I can see. Okay, fine. We have a deal. I'll take it from the back. That's fine. I'm going to take it all from the back. I don't have to go and be anywhere near the part that Scott is in. Oh, I've ended up in the pig pen again. This always happens. Right. Is this one going to give us anything good this time? This one is absolutely terrible, honestly. Big waste of time. Did you make a canyon in my area? Does he mean a cannon? Because that actually wasn't me. That actually wasn't me, I swear to God. If he means a cannon, set up a line of TNT. I did not set up a line of TNT. That was not me. Scott's at war with everybody. Now, the thing is, will Scott believe me or will he think I'm lying? That's the real question. A golden sword with unbreaking. Is that the one with fire aspect again? It is. Fire aspect 7. It's actually really good. So the good thing is that I now have all these uh, bottles of enchanting. Which are very good. Because I, I'm constantly going to need to repair this pickaxe. I think we need 20 levels as well to do the pickaxe. So, uh, oh, that's turned out alright. I'm going to up with a pretty good haul of random stuff. I mean, you know, how much am I going to use these things? Not that much, probably. But you never know. Oh my goodness. I got so scared. My goodness, he scared me. Wow. I'm very bravely going to go through the PvP area now. But I'm scared that Scott knows I'm going to do that. And he'll warp PvP and kill me. If he warps PvP, I am dead. I'm so scared right now. I've never been more scared in my life running through this area. Oh my goodness. We're safe. We are safe. What people don't realize is the war zone starts here. So people can punch me right here. Which is pretty crazy, really. Because that's not even technically in the war zone. It's just in a normal area. Also, from the last video, guys, not a lot of you gave me much info on the League of Villains. Um, so again, I'm going to ask again. If any of you know the location of the League of Villains, then please, please let me know. Uh, don't tell anyone that I'm asking, but just let me know. Look at this tree parkour. Look at me go. Who am I? I've never moved like that. Goodness me. That felt magical. But yes, I think now I'm going to spend the next 30 minutes just unblocking my blooming volcano from the little mischief maker that is Scott. We appear to have come to some sort of truce though, so hopefully that is going to be fine. I'm going to get some more of the terracotta from the back of his, uh, from the back of the Mesa area. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then make sure to leave a like. Go and check out Scott's video too, I suppose, to see how he did it. Um, I'm assuming he just broke the glass with like TNT cannons, and then my own water will have done the problem. That's the issue. I did it myself. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!